morning wants to take a day of vacation, uh, come up here on top of the roof and knock out some of these, uh, or knock out the rest of this dormer project real quick. It's supposed to rain tomorrow and the next day. What is today? Today's Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday is supposed to rain pretty good. Um, anywho, the game plan was to take the day off, come up here, finish this stuff up, and then, you know, hopefully it won't leak any tomorrow. <laughs> anywho, we got it this morning forgetting that we lived in the Bermuda Triangle of Arkansas, and it rained almost till 11. It was just a drizzle rain, but it rained. So we've been downstairs, downstairs, we've been under the porch staining we got to do it so it's not like super cold outside even though i'm wearing my little beanie uh, but we think it'll dry and of course it'll be under the porch and under the roof so it'll be fine but we've got to break in the action so i come up here and thought i'd uh, tinker away at this that i have to do so that's what i'm doing now all right so what i've done here I took off the old wood, uh, kind of looked like this. I mean, it's obviously not very good. Kind of rotted away. Hang on just a second. And you can see here, it kind of changed colors, but it's still good. And you see this, uh, I, I use the zip board for the chimney. I really like the zip board system. And what I did under here, picked up this flashing it's a little different it's got a sticky adhesive on the bottom and it's chrome on the top which I don't really think it matters but the idea was that I liked that it. it's sticky and then I've come across the top of that with some of that zip tape from the zip system so I kind of like double layered my flashing and then put a flashing on top of it so I guess technically that's a triple layer but this zip system tape is so sticky. I mean, it is impressive. It's very, very sticky. And I really like it. You know, you're supposed to roll it down real hard, and I did. It's all down nice and nice and tight. So I'm hoping that even if my wood goes away, I'm not going to have any leaks. That's a 90 degree. It comes out to about right here underneath this metal flashing. And of course, I put the metal flashing back. I'm gonna replace the old wood with new wood. Bear with me. You see, I've already got a screw in it because I'm trying to do two things at once. So I'm gonna get that back up in there square with my other piece. What I found with most of these screws is if you run them home and then back them up, put pressure on your board and run them in, it draws it in a lot nicer and tighter. Although it didn't do it on that one. Back it out. What's going on here? Taking myself out to be a fool. Much better. So yeah, that's that. I'll put a couple of screws in it, and then I'll uh, and I'll come back down here. Let's see where I've cut my new piece of pine siding. If you go sliding off the roof, I'm sorry. <laughs> so that'll go there. Keep that, uh, keep that flashing down. 
and then I'll go cut me another small piece here. I'll put flashing on it. Up there, I'll silicone the places that I've created in the, the metal flashing. I'll silicone that up. I've been using this uh, roof flashing, polyurethane sealant. It's what I use on the chimney. I've been checking on it every so often and it's doing really good. Uh, I don't know if I'll do another coat this year, but I'll definitely probably do another coat in springtime right before it rains. So far it's done pretty good. And uh, I talked to a guy about a uh, metal flashing to go over the chimney, a metal topper, whatever you want to call it, to go over the chimney. And uh, we'll probably end up doing that here pretty soon as well, if I can get my hands on it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna put this on there. And I'll go down and I'll cut me one from the bottom after I measure it. And that'll be that. That'll be this side. And I'll move on to the next. So there we go. Now all we gotta do is come up here and this has already been pre-stained, if you will call it that. Um, we did the chimney this color, if you remember. We didn't like it, so we've got some different stain colors, uh, some darker. Anyway, I've got a piece for here. This piece was missing when we moved in. I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. But whenever we stain it, it'll look like that piece over yonder. It's very shiny, but you'll be able to, uh, it won't, won't be as, obvious and uh, it'll look closer to the rest of the house so that's this dormer i put this piece on and then we'll have to come back on a day when it's not likely to rain and restain which will restain this whole section to make it look like that one over there and make it look like the rest of the front of the house and there's uh, about three days worth of staining <laughs> to be done here and then we'll go to that dormer. You can see it's got some problems as well. I may try to go ahead and at least fix the wood today. It's like that on both sides. Every one of them was like that on the bottom corners. But I'm gonna finish putting this piece on and then I may move over there. Not really a whole lot more to show. It's not like I'm doing anything fancy. Uh, I guess the bottom line is, is I'm not spending a fortune for somebody to come up here and do it for me. And uh, it doesn't hurt to learn how to do things. I didn't know how to do this when I came up here to start. I was panicky, I didn't know what to do. I went and bought some more zip board, plywood, whatever. Uh, bought a bunch of materials and turns out after looking, I don't really need them. So uh, I guess I'll have some extra wood laying around in the woodshed or in the, uh, somewhere. <laughs> I'll find a place to store it. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna finish up. Well, it looks a lot brighter out here than it really is. Uh, we got done for today. I went ahead and did that other section that I was talking about doing. <laughs> I had to replace a lot of wood on that one. It didn't look so bad, but when I got to uh, Wasper, it's awful cold for him to be out here. Anywho, uh, it didn't look so bad, but when I took the old uh, the old siding off underneath the particle board, it was a, almost the size of a basketball. Uh, pretty good uh, spot that was rotted out, so I had to cut all that out. And I had to replace it. I had some extra particle board, of course. Like I said, I went and bought some stuff. That's kind of what I was expecting out of all of this, and it was—it's turned out a lot better than than what I thought it would be. But I did have a bad one. I've still got uh, at least one more that I got to do. But while I was up there and I had the big hole in it, it started drizzling rain, so I had to hurry up. So I patched it up, uh, sealed it up, cocked it all up everything uh, of course we haven't had time to restain it uh, we'll have to do that 
I did get it, excuse me, I did get it finished. And now it's almost supper time. And it's gonna be dark here shortly. Although it doesn't look like it to you. It's a lot darker to me. And uh, so that was it. Uh, I thought it was almost over and it was gonna be quick and easy. And this is like, not yet. <laughs> But we've wrapped everything up, we put everything up. It was raining pretty good a while ago. Uh, pretty good little drizzle, sprinkle, whatever you want to call it. And uh, now it stopped again. And it's supposed to start raining at seven. I think it's six something right now, just after six. So yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be raining here in a little bit. And tomorrow it's supposed to be like an 80 or 90% chance of rain. So we'll see if we've done any good. That's gonna be it for today. Might do a another video later I don't really know uh, kind of went through the technical part and the coolness of the whole thing I got dirty <laughs> that's what we're doing that's what we've been doing all day uh, lately so I hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something if not ask questions I'll tell you what I can uh, most of this stuff I'm just uh, a trial by fire kind of guy you know that's me all right y'all have a good one <laughs>